Hey, what's going on guys? In the Titan Medical Center offices here in beautiful Channel Side, Tampa, Florida. And uh, it's a Tuesday, so it's a good day, right? Second day in the week, but I've got some special surprises, so I want you guys to come with me. But before we go down that way and see what the special surprises are, let's go check on the staff and see what's going on. So look at all these girls. They're all working here diligently for patients, making sure the patients are taken care of, whether it's their refills or signing up new patients or helping them out with support. Our girls are always on the job. So if you guys are wondering what we do here in Titan Medical Center offices, this is it, taking care of patients, making sure they're feeling good, looking good, and performing their very best. But we're gonna walk back because I got some special packages in today, and I love getting special packages in, because it's probably some new promo stuff or some new Titan Medical Center gear. So we're gonna see what is in the boxes right now. So come with me, let's go back to the clothing closet and go get those boxes and open them up so you and I can see what came in today. Let's go. back this is our clothing closet right and our awesome event coordinator sabrina's back here if you guys don't know this face you guys will see her more and more often so she got these new packages for us of this promo material and i don't know what it is because we're so many new different things for us this year so i'm excited to see for myself what i'm getting today See my Jenga card I'm packed here? You love that, right? Let's go. Make sure nothing falls here. Delivery man here. I got some boxes for Titan. So these are really cute. Um, girls are gonna be able to wear these in the summer. It's down here in Florida all the time. Oh yeah, super stretchy. And the way that I test the print is I always stretch the material to see if it cracks or not. If it doesn't crack, it's gonna be good. But if it does crack off the first bit, no good. And I usually get these things hit twice. So deep white and it goes, very nice. Every girl is gonna want one of these. I don't care what color it comes in. It's either gonna be gray. Oh yeah. Look at that. Team Titan all the way. Crop top hoodies. And they're so comfortable and so soft feel it. So nice. Oh, and you know what? The guys out there, been, they've been getting on my case like, John, I see all this stuff for girls. And you know, there's a lot of those guys out here. That we need some stuff too. So I'm like, all right, cool. I got you. So I started making a whole bunch of tank tops for you guys out there. And these are really, really nice. If you want to show off, you know, the back, the lats, really comfortable, really breathable material. I mean, this is super soft. Feel it. Oh, yeah, super yeah. soft. <laughs> You, girl, you guys are gonna love this. And girls will probably wear these too. I can see some girls putting a sports bra on anything and wearing it. Bathing suit would be too. So don't worry, because I got different colors too. You might say, oh, I don't know about that blue, John. No problem, I got you. I got red ones, super soft again. And then these have white um, print on them. And I believe that I have black print in here too as well. So I wanted to switch it up for people out there. Got them in this box or another box, but I got black ones too. Check this out. Yeah, these are awesome. Very, very cool. These are gonna be great. Can't wait to get these on people. All right. More tank tops. More blacks. Let's see if I have any red and black print in here. No, not yet. More crop top hoodies. It's for the ladies out there. Look at this one. The black. Team Titan all the way. Gotta love it, right? Yeah. These are so nice. Oh, of course, this is Sharice's custom gear. Look at she's got custom dresses getting made. These are nice. Hopefully some more of my stuff's in here. It's all hers. Let's see. Oh, what do we got here? No, we got some of the other shirts. These are cute, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know about these dresses. I think they're all for shoes, actually. <laughs> all 
All right, so that's it now. I got more boxes to come, but I want to show you guys some of the new Titan gear that just came in. Um, those tank tops are going to go really, really quick, probably. And I got new hats. I got all kinds of new cool stuff. And I didn't even know what I was getting these packages today. So stay tuned for more Titan gear coming you guys' way so you guys can support it. Looking good and feeling good on the inside and the outside with Titan gear too as well. Stay tuned. Become a patient of Titan Medical Center today and start feeling, looking, and performing at your optimal levels. It's a very simple and easy process, and you can do it right from the comfort of your own home via phone, tablet, or computer. Here at Titan Medical Center, all of our therapies are medically prescribed, monitored, and come straight from a U.S. licensed pharmacy right to your doorstep. Our services include hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, peptide therapies, detox rejuvenation therapy, blood work, and much more. As a patient of Titan Medical Center, we can service you in office or via telemedicine nationwide. So take the next step towards improving your quality of life. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. Or for more information, you can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. mistakes so right now we are at the Sequoia's compound and uh, we are here with Coastline Canine the owner Eric and another trainer Anthony and we are getting our service dog handed over to us well we get awesome training from these guys thank goodness to be able to properly handle this dog and know what it can do what it can't do all the attributes and limitations if there is any um, to know what it is so right now Obviously, I handle the dog, my wife handles the dog, but Peter, my son, has to handle the dog too as well. Like I was explaining to him earlier, you have to pay attention to this stuff now because let's say mom and dad aren't home and you need to control this dog one way or the other or handle this dog properly. At that point, you got to know what to do, okay? And it's got to be like muscle memory type deal. It's not something, you know, somebody's going to tell you right on the fly and you're like, oh, and just do it. You gotta be able to get the reps in all the way through and through. And this is anything in life you wanna be good at. It. You gotta get reps in. Whether it's playing baseball, whether it's doing this, shooting basketball, you're, you're gonna get reps in, right? So this is what it's about. Getting the reps in, making sure that he's comfortable. If we're not here to handle Sasha, right? And Sasha's awesome, so she's pretty easy to handle all the way through and through, but you still gotta know what to do. And that's where the professionals come in, and that's why we got some of the best in the country. So that's what it's all about. As we're walking over here right now to see Sasha full in an action. And Sharice just released him on this person that was trying to break into our yard, possibly our home. And this is the defense that you're gonna get with her. And uh, it's really key to be able to handle these dogs in and out whether you tell them to give the command of going to search a property or how to get them off a person. You gotta be under, understanding of how to control the dog, which my wife, Sharice, is doing excellent at. I know my son's gonna do good at it. I got, I'm pretty confident what I'm doing here with her. It's awesome to see. Get him, Sasha, get him, get him, get into it, Peter. Get into it, Peter. Get him, Peter. Go Clipper, 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 Clipper. Go Clipper, she's not gonna hurt you, Pete. She's not gonna hurt you. Clipper, Clipper, Clipper. Now you got control, now you just keep telling her, keep telling her. Don't, don't, don't choke her, let her go. Get her, get her, pat her belly, pat her belly, Peter. Pat her belly right here. Good girl, good girl, yeah. Get it, Sasha, get it, yeah. Keep going, Pete. This guy's trying to hurt us, dude. He's trying to hurt us, what are you gonna do? You gonna let him get up? 
Punch him in the chest, Pete. Punch him in the chest. Punch him. No, you just punched like I did last night. Come on, get him, Pete. He can't do anything in that suit, Pete. Come on. Go, hurry up. That guy can shoot you, grab you, touch you. You know what? Take her away, Pete. Take her away. Go, go. So right now we're inside the Titan Escalade, right? And we're doing scenarios with Sasha. So we're detouring um, people that are coming up to the vehicle or possibly trying to get into the vehicle or harm us or just bothering us. I don't know if you've ever stopped and like somebody's tried to like wash your windshield. Get money from you. Or, I mean, the money thing or just be really, really rude about things, you know? Maybe knock on your window. I mean, these are real things that have happened out there. So at that point, like Sasha's going to detour people from coming into the vehicle or bothering us when we're on the road when we shouldn't be bothered at all. They're getting our personal space. Hey, bro, don't get out. Go, go, don't come over here, man. I, I tell you what, man. If you don't step away from the vehicle, I'm going to launch my dog at you. I'm telling you, dude, you're going to get it. Well, come on over here and let's see what happens then. Man, come on over. Come on over. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, come on. Come on over here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm not getting out of the car. I'm not getting out of the car. This is my property. This is an extension of my property. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him, Sasha. Watch him. Watch him. See what happens. Watch him. Watch him, Sasha. Watch him. Yeah, get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. That's a good girl. Get him. 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 Out, 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 out. So we're going to a public place, and uh, Sasha is going to protect us out in a public manner. So if somebody comes up to us and we're out with a family, and let's say they want something from us, at that point, we're going to have Sasha to tour them. And if we need to, she's going to protect us. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. Get him. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, Sasha. Get him. 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 Here. 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 Foos. 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 We're here in this plaza. We were just walking with it as a family, getting a smoothie or something to eat. And we're walking by, and the scenario is... Somebody's in the back of us, and we don't know where these people are placed, right? So Eric's in the back of us, the trainer, and at that point, he's like a inconspicuous person just sitting on the side, which you wouldn't even see if you walked by him, unless you look back in your peripheral. So at that point, this is supposed to be a scenario where they probably scouted us, they see the bling bling, and they're going to you know, position themselves where they're going to have a success rate at getting that bling bling. But at that point, when he went to go grab me, you know, I said one word to make sure she was going to start detouring him and he goes to try to snatch my watch well she automatically says hey listen i need to go into this mode to, to defend and at that point she goes after him and starts trying to tear him up at that point i learned a valuable lesson when you do send her don't be close to the person because they can hurt you and what eric did was he like barely kicked my leg to let me know like, hey listen you're within striking range of me and i can still hurt you so you need to get away so when you you know have the dog going after you need to back away at that point you get to a safe distance call her and call her to you so she did that really awesome so as soon as i seen it as soon as i got the budge i knew it right away and I started backing off and at that point i got to a safe distance made sure the family was at a safe distance and then i recalled the dog back to me so i want you guys to stay tuned because there's a lot more that sasha can be able to do and a lot more i'm gonna learn with her bond with her and uh we're gonna see her work to the ultimate optimal level just like a true titan soldier When was the last time you had your blood tested? It's very important to have your blood checked regularly. It can help doctors check for certain diseases and conditions, and they also help check the function of your organs and show how well treatments are working. Blood tests can offer a good snapshot of your overall health. At Titan Medical Center, we don't play the guessing game when it comes to your blood work and hormone levels. You can either schedule an appointment to come into our office and we can do your blood work on site, or we can set you up for a blood test at a blood lab near you nationwide. 
Call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220. Or for more information on our wide variety of therapies and medical services, you can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little wife over here that's smiling are coming at you guys, give you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and bring your relationship to a whole new level and a positive, good one at that. All right? So this week, uh, we want to cover some of these great relationship advice tips just for you. Now, we've got a ton of these things in our little bag of tricks but we only want to cover two or three because we only got so much time to cover them with you guys. But don't worry, we'll bring you guys another show to bring you guys more of our own secret little relationship advice tips just for you guys. So the first one, be candid, the good and the bad. Yeah, John's not getting away from that on me. I mean, I, 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 it's unfortunate how bluntly I put things. Sometimes I just, I can't sugarcoat it. It just is what it is. He's accepted me for who I am, thank goodness. Always. And, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm the same way too. Uh, yeah. You know, I've tried in the past to <laughs> sugarcoat things or say things really nicely. Mm -hmm. Like go out of your way to do it, and it just doesn't come out right or just doesn't bring the point across like I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So the only way that I know to be is direct and just be honest about things. Sometimes people take that like, eh, I don't like that very much. Or what are you coming at me like that, John? Why are you coming at me? I like feel that? like sometimes, like uh, over time, guys. Like if you pay attention. You'll be able to like learn your partner. You'll learn the times that are good to talk to them. I know John just loves when I like open up this big can of worms, like right before, as his eyes are like closing in the bed and he's like nice and relaxed and he's already like kind of gotten to his like underwear and he's hanging out. I'm like, so, and he's like, seriously, seriously right now. So now he's just used to it. And he's like, what, what do you want? Oh my God. So watch out at bedtime. Some people worry about monster underneath the bed. I'm worried about Sharice bringing up topics and just get my heart racing. <laughs> then he can't go to sleep. But I've learned to, I've learned to adjust the time now and not do that to him so that he can get a good night's rest if we need to talk about something. So but that's what I'm saying is that yeah. that's happened over the past, you know, 15 years, yeah. you know, you learn your partner and you try to apply it as you go. If you yeah. realize, okay, this is not a good way to approach them, let me change the way I'm talking about it. Let me change the tone. Let me change my body language. Let me change the time of day. Yeah. Those are probably the big ones to change yeah. and look out for. Yeah. And I, you know, at that point, if you are having this conversation and it, things go wrong in the beginning, because you guys are learning each other as you guys you know, are staying together and being together. So at that point, like, you know, the more time you spend together, hopefully you guys will be able to read each other, like Sharice was saying, but you know, in the midst of the beginning, you guys are gonna find out those little hot buttons. Um, and then listen, if you don't get it at that point, just ask them, but like, hey, listen, how can I bring this up? without you getting mad, defensive, or, you know, like I'm coming across mean or aggressive to you. I don't want to do that. So then you just ask them and they might give you some tips and how to, you know, bring it up to them. And then at that point, the next time when you have that issue or problem or you want to be direct or candid with them, you go about it in that way. Now, if they don't like it that way, you can say, hey, listen, you told me to do it this way and it still didn't work for me. So what am I doing? That works both ends though. That means that if they're telling, if you're telling somebody, this is how I want it like to be approached, or this is how you could do it better next time, or maybe just address it this way, 
then make sure that you are accepting it when they actually do apply it that way and, they're, and you're not just shutting the door when they're trying to talk to you about something and be straightforward about it. Sometimes it's not good to beat around the bush about something, you know, like if, if something, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll come up with a topic specifically before the end of this episode, but you know, it, sometimes it's good to just be straightforward about it and just be like, you know, maybe there, maybe it's a solid, something that's a solid no for you, you know, like why even stretch it out into this long drawn out process if you've already made up your mind and been like, no, like that's not something I want to do. Like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Then, you know, tell them like it's it, the, again, the communication, right? Communication's key. Communication's key, but being straightforward, it's also key. Yeah, so I think so. Not everybody sure. can handle it though. You can say it in a respectful manner too as well when you're talking to them. Yeah. Um, next topic, uh, fixing the reoccurring problem. Now listen, you might not have a reoccurring problem. Lies. All of you have reoccurring problems. But nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> nobody's perfect. You or your partner or your future partner if you're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, so at that point, you know, you got to recognize what the problem is. Both of you guys. Because before you can fix a problem, you got to recognize you have a problem. If you don't recognize you have a problem, then why are you even fixing anything? Right? Then, yeah, then you, you don't have a problem to fix, right? So some people think, uh, listen, oh, she thinks I have a problem, but I don't think I have a problem. Now I'm just giving an example here, and this might be too far extreme but <laughs> if it's an alcoholic and he's drinking alcohol every day yeah. and the wife says hey listen you're drinking you know 20 beers this is a problem right? yeah i don't like the way you're acting after you drink these 20 beers right. we'll go to the bar right and you're like listen i ain't got no problem right well you're drinking alcohol 20 20 beers a day and this is the way you're acting when you drink this alcohol but when you wake up in the morning you're not drinking this alcohol you're a whole different person right and this is where that comes into play the time you're not going to talk to him after he's had the 20 beers that night, yeah. right? Because they're not like coherent to what you're trying yeah. to say. Yeah. You're going to wait till the next day when they're fully coherent and yeah. they can understand and they're not going to scream and yell back at you and discuss it in a very light manner. You don't need mm -hmm. to raise your voice or I, I, I do talk loud. I am aggressive and I speak with my hands. Yes. I always talk like this. So John's gotten to the point where he just, that's how I talk. It's, I'm not coming across any specific way sometimes and I'm just... Fast. Talk fast, fast, fast. Yep. So, you know, it is what it is. And it's good. Sometimes you might have to bust out the phone and record them. You never know. Just to show them the next day, not to use it against them. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. To okay. Yeah. John has done this to me. Yeah. We're not, I'm not going to lie. This is, I, I told you. We're candid. It's good. I'll tell you the truth. It's true. Yeah. We. I mean, listen, back in the day, right, because we're not perfect either. Of course and Me not. and John obviously have gotten to where we're at today by going through all the stuff that we've been through, right? Yeah. You don't just get to where you're at by not going through trials and tribulations. Do you think sure. people are like successful in life, businesses, you know, relationships, whatever it is, by just jumping from point A to point B, it doesn't happen that way. No. Like you have to go through the trials and tribulations. Yeah. You have to go through the good and the bad. Yep. You have to go sometimes and hit rock bottom to come back up to the top, you know? There's, you just have to do it. It's, it's, it's inevitable. It's the way, the way the cookie crumbles, you know, it's gonna, it has to happen that way. And yes, me and John used to have some serious blowout arguments. You know, this is back in the day when I was really young, uh, like really young, like mm -hmm. 21 young. Okay. And yeah, we go out and have a couple drinks and you know, I'm not, I personally am not the happy drunk. I am the angry drunk. So yes. Once I, <laughs> I'm telling the truth at least, I'm being honest, right? And I, I'm not, I mean, a couple of drinks, I'm happy, you know, but after about, you know, five or six, it turns into like a little bit more angry, you know? Anyways, so, you know, it's a little touchy and you don't want to get around me or make me upset. I, I'm happy until I'm upset and then I'm upset. But anyways, I would go home and we would get into these blowout fights. And then the next day he would tell me like, you did this, you said that, you did this, and you said this to me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, it did not go down like that. This is not what happened. So finally, this guy over here decides he wants, he's like, I, I swear this is him, right? He's like, I'm recording you right now. I'm recording. I'm like, I don't care. He's like, I'm recording you. I'm going to show you this tomorrow. Look, at, I'll order the, uh, the next day, he l literally shows me. And like, okay, yeah, for some point, it was a wake up call. Like, oh, maybe that was a little much, right? And maybe that was a little aggressive, but I mean, yeah, maybe you could record them, you know, and, and I don't know how that's going to turn out for you. Okay. Yeah. Cause recording someone, there might be some other things happen on yeah. the other end, yeah. you know, so uh, take it for what you want. Take the advice, how you would like it and then apply it, how you think it should be applied yeah. without getting things thrown at you. Yeah. Yeah. 
I could go good or bad. I don't know how it's going to go for you guys. <laughs> At least it's a true statement, right? It, uh, it's, it's, it's something that worked. Uh, and like I said, you don't usually get some use it as a learning tool. And then you, you can recognize the problems. Yeah, don't right. the next day, don't be like, oh, this. so by the way, oh, yeah. and throw it in their face because that's not going to go yeah, either. Yeah, that's not going to go good. So uh, don't do that. But, you know, recognize the problem, the issue. And then fix it. Fix the issue. Progress, right? Progress. That's what it's all about, progressing. Progression. Whether it's in life, in business, whatever you're doing, you got to progress. Yeah. Um, let's go on the third one. All right. Choose to love your partner every day. This is really important, right? Because, you know, like we talked about before, sometimes people come, become complacent or they forget how much they love their partner and showing affection. So, you know, when you make a choice to love your partner every day, you're doing things for your partner, going out of the way for your partner, making sure that they understand that you love them. In one capacity or the other, it could be a hug, it could be a kiss in the morning, it could be a text, it could be a note. Um, it could be you going to them and having lunch with them during the day, you know, mm -hmm. work, possibly bringing them something, dropping them off at their work, whatever it may be. But you're showing them the love, right? right. And then, you know, physical touch and, and that afterwards. These are big, big things. You know, women are always say like, oh, my husband or my boyfriend never compliments me anymore. right? And, and that, that does disappear over years. It just does. Like, uh, you know, not with John, but in most relationships, like it just disappears because you're comfortable. So you forget sometimes. And then, you know, on the opposite end for the girls, you know, obviously if you're throwing on some sweatpants and a sweatshirt and put your hair in a bun, I'm not telling you you don't look adorable like this. However, every once in a while, it's nice to dress up, put on some makeup, look nice. And then you're, you know, at that point, fellas, we are kind of like expecting a compliment, hopefully, you know? Like say, hey, you look nice, or I like your dress, or you know, your hair looks good, or you know, nice makeup, or I don't know, something of that nature, you know, just something to acknowledge that you see that they look good. Absolutely. And the same goes for the guy. Same thing, guys. You know, you could put on your you know basketball shorts, hang out, put your hat backwards, you know, do whatever you got to do. But when the guy gets dressed up, you guys go into a nice dinner or something, you know, compliment the guy on whatever it might be. Maybe he's got a new pair of shoes on or something. Recognize it and then compliment because mm -hmm. then it's that compliment honestly it does it goes a long way absolutely. it goes a long long way absolutely. and they remember it absolutely reciprocate that and it's contagious that love gets even better and better so mm -hmm. these are some of the main relationship advice tips that we wanted to share with you guys we got more in the future for you guys there's a lot more that goes in relationship just in those three things but those are three major parts that i think are advice tips that are going to help you guys go a long long way in a relationship um, and it helped me, so it might help you too as well. We don't know. But join us every Sunday, 11 a.m. here on ABC for Cupid's Corner. If you guys don't get to watch it live, you guys can always DVR it or just go right over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, right? Hit the subscribe and all notification bell and watch every Cupid's Corner because they'll all be there and more cool content than me and Sharice and the whole Titan crew have brought you. We appreciate you guys joining in, and we will see you guys next week. Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC for Cuba's Corner. See you then.